Hello, bienvenidos a una nueva clase de inglés. Hoy aprenderemos a presentarnos en inglés con datos básicos e información extra que desees añadir. Antes de comenzar el video, te quiero invitar a que te suscribas al canal si quieres seguir aprendiendo inglés con nosotros. Además, puedes comentar cuáles son las áreas o aspectos que más te cuestan al aprender inglés. Basic information that can be included when introducing yourself. Nombre, edad, de dónde eres, nacionalidad, dónde vives, qué idiomas hablas y si quieres añadir más información puedes hablar sobre dónde los aprendiste y a qué te dedicas. Las estructuras básicas de algunos de estos datos son para decir tu nombre, my name is plus tu nombre. Por ejemplo, my name is Valeria. Para decir tu edad, I am plus número que indique tu edad plus years old. For example, I am 28 years old. Para decir de dónde eres, I am from plus país. For example, I am from Chile. Or I am plus nacionalidad. For example, I am Chilean. Para decir dónde vives, I live in plus ciudad o país. For example, I live in Santiago, Chile. Para decir qué idiomas hablas, I speak plus el idioma. For example, I speak Spanish and English. Para decir a qué te dedicas, I am a plus profesión. For example, I am a veterinarian. Or I work as a plus profesión. I work as a veterinarian. For example, Hi, hello, my name is Valeria and I am 20 years old. I am a Chilean girl who lives in Santiago, the capital city of Chile. I currently speak two languages, Spanish, my native language, and English, my second language. I learned English at the university while I was studying my current career. And I work as a veterinarian because I love taking care of animals. Additional information to talk about. Cuando comencé mi carrera, me pidieron que hablara un poco de mí en inglés, no solo que me presentara. Por eso incluyo los siguientes datos como opcionales. Comida favorita, estilo de música que escuchas, qué estás estudiando o te gustaría estudiar, qué país o países te gustaría visitar, cuál es tu hobby, aquellas actividades que te gusta hacer en tu tiempo libre. For example, first of all, I love eating pesto pasta because the taste of the basil mixed with pasta is delicious. In relation to music, I don't have a specific music genre, but I used to listen to pop music. Respecting to my professional life, I studied veterinary at the university and I love my career because it allows me to take care of animals. However, I would like to study something related to the environment. If I had to choose a country to visit, I would definitely choose England because the English accent there is amazing. Finally, my hobby is learning languages, so I used to spend my free time learning new words and phrases in English. Ahora conoceremos algunas preguntas que le puedes hacer a otras personas para que se presenten. What's your name? How old are you? Where are you from? Where do you live? How many languages do you speak? What do you do? What do you do in your free time? Which country would you like to visit? Hi, hello, my name is Valeria and I am 20 years old. I am a Chilean girl who lives in Santiago, the capital city of Chile. I currently speak two languages, Spanish, my native language, and English, my second language. I learned English at the university 
while I was studying my current career. And I work as a veterinarian because I love taking care of animals. First of all, I love eating pesto pasta because the taste of the basil mixed with pasta is delicious. In relation to music, I don't have a specific music genre, but I used to listen to pop music. Respecting to my professional life, I studied veterinary at the university, and I love my career because it allows me to take care of animals. However, I would like to study something related to the environment. If I had to choose a country to visit, I would definitely choose England because the English accent there is amazing. Finally, my hobby is learning languages, so I used to spend my free time learning new words and phrases in English. Muchas gracias por haber visto este video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Si te gustó, regálame un me gusta y compártelo con tus amigos para que todos aprendamos inglés juntos. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share the video with your friends to learn English together.